So, here I am, following up on this drama. I wasn't even going to address any of this, but it seems like that is all people want to talk about. Yeah, just the stuff I didn't talk about in the last video. The stuff I said I wasn't going to talk about. But, okay, people want to talk about that. I'm happy to do that because I have seen a lot of bullshit regarding all that stuff, too. Well, let's start with what we know. Thunderfoot was generalizing Muslims, which kind of set off Dawah films, as well as some atheists. It culminated in this video where Thunderfoot was saying some stupid fucking jingoist bullshit about waking a sleeping giant or something. That is kind of ambiguous. It's not necessarily a threat, but it can be interpreted that way. Apparently, Dawah Films did interpret it like that. That's the way jingoist bullshit tends to be. Now, don't even get me fucking started on what total nonsense nationalism is. So, Dawa Films uh, takes it as a threat and makes a video where he basically states that if anyone comes to harm him or other innocent people, he will kill them. This is the main thing people are accusing him of. This is usually done when playing the clip with the innocent people part removed. That way, it looks like he is making an unconditional threat, rather than one conditional on self-defense. It is strange that people find fault with that. There are very few people who would not use deadly force to protect themselves or other innocent people. It's actually a legal precedent. If someone breaks into your house and tries to kill you, and you kill them first, no charges will be filed. I think we can all stop making a big deal about that, it's obviously an example of bias if you're going to claim that is a threat when the statement does not even need to be made. Virtually every person will respond in kind when attacked. Next we come to the dock dropping charge. What both Thunderfoot and Dawa Films said is that Dawa Films tried to contact Thunderfoot's employer. Thunderfoot simply said it was attempted and failed Dawa Films said he only contacted Thunderfoot's previous employer. We can pretty much assume that is true because they are both agreeing about that. When people want to talk about this, they want to imply that there was some video made with Thunderfoot's personal information. However, there is no such video and Thunderfoot never even claimed there was. There was a video made earlier in the year by someone else that had the information, but it was not Dawa Films. Anecdotal evidence suggests, ironically, that Coughlin got the video removed. So, according to what both Dawa Films and Thunderfoot have said, the dock dropping just amounted to contacting Thunderfoot's employer to show them some of his videos. So, Thunderfoot's mention of family is really a red herring, since no such information was released, and Thunderfoot's employer would have no interest in his family. First, let me ask, would we really be divided on this if someone was showing a university a video of one of their employees saying bigoted things about blacks or Jews? Bigotry can be a problem in a place like a university where students may be discriminated against, so now we come to the choice where Thunderfoot apologists can get their fucking story straight. Either Thunderfoot does not say anything bigoted, in which case his employer seeing the videos would be irrelevant, or they w that would have gotten him fired if he still worked there because he says bigoted things. The fucking bollocks I keep hearing is that Dawa Films is causing a problem for Thunderfoot by doing this and that he isn't a bigot. However, those two things are mutually exclusive, so either offer valid arguments or sit down and shut the fuck up. Let's also consider the implications of someone being bigoted towards Muslims working at a university. That would be a potential cause of discrimination against Muslim students. So, of course, a university would have a problem with that. Of course, if you don't consider Muslims to be worthy of human rights, then I guess that wouldn't matter to you. But if that is the case, at least be honest about it. 
The next argument to address is the one where people tell me Dawa Films did this, that, and the other thing. Well, that is a straw man argument, because I am not saying the man is perfect. However, it is also a red herring, because that has no bearing on the incident in question. It is also kind of like a poisoning the well fallacy done in reverse. Just because Dawa Films has done other things you don't like, or he was a real asshole to you, or whatever, has no relevance to the topic. Maybe he is an asshole, but that doesn't mean anything in this context. I really find it amusing when people who complain about a theist's straw man argument will then use one against me. How very ironic. What I have seen is Thunderfoot making a propaganda piece that encouraged his fans to post mostly hate speech on Dawa Film's channel. He set his channel comments to friends only yesterday because of that. Now, some of the comments were just the usual, hey, fuck you, man, and I don't care about that. However, a lot of them were hate speech. It was bigoted stuff about his religion, racial slurs against Arabs, as well as various threats. It's all stuff that would get your channel suspended from YouTube if you were to put it into a video. So, in conclusion, I have seen Thunderfoot do what I just explained, but the only things Dawa Films did was make a gratuitous statement about self-defense that is simply a given, as well as send videos to Thunderfoot's employer. Between this video and the last video, I think I have covered all the bases.